Let's look at the character of Mr. Jaggers. Mr. Jaggers is a very successful lawyer and many of the characters, including Mrs. Havisham and Magwitch, are linked to each other through his law firm. Indeed, it's because he successfully defended Molly, who's his housekeeper, and Estella's mother, who it's, it's as a result of that successful defense against her murder charge that Molly both begins to work for him so he shows kindness and compassion towards her but also this is how Estella is linked to Miss Havisham she comes under the charge of Miss Havisham as her young orphan daughter now Jagger seems to be a really interesting lawyer he defends both well-to-do people but also some of the more unsavory characters such as Magwitch so we sense that on the one hand he seems to be a very kind man but he has a very tough and cold exterior and we also sense that he's somewhat distrusting of human nature so he is an interesting character and he is the lawyer that's in charge of executing Magwitch's wish in terms of dispensing, giving the money to Pip, but also following very specific instructions of being Pip's guardian in London and also making sure that Pip gets a gentleman's education and a gentleman's training in line with Magwitch's expectations. Now, of course, if you're writing about him as part of your coursework or exams, if studying great expectations, you do need to be very well versed in key quotations relating to Mr. Jaggers. Therefore, I have prepared the relevant quotes that I would suggest you bear in mind and of course the word level analysis to do for each quotation. So let's begin with the first quote related to Mr. Jaggers. He is described as being a burly man of an exceedingly dark complexion with an exceedingly large head ellipsis, okay? So he was a burly man of an exceedingly dark complexion with an exceedingly large head. So this description of his appearance sets him up as a very forbidding and scary character and personality to look at. And Pip, of course, finds him very intimidating. Now here, the word level analysis you want to do in terms of how he is described is firstly these negative adjectives, burly, dark, large, in terms of describing him and showing him to be a very scary character to look at, even if he's a very successful London lawyer. But also you want to focus on the repetition of the uh, description. He is exceedingly dark complexion, exceedingly, exceedingly again hair, okay? So of course, what this does is it describes him, maybe not necessarily as very conventionally handsome, but also this goes to the idea that Pip who judges lots of people based on their outward appearance this outward appearance can be somewhat misleading because Jaggers does do some kind acts the second quotation relating to Mr Jaggers is how he is described and we can see his mistrusting nature particularly of humanity and human nature his eyes were ellipsis disagreeably sharp and suspicious so here we can see especially the word of analysis you want to do here is the sibilance of s sharp and suspicious we can see that he's very distrusting of human nature and he has a very unique understanding of the dark aspects and the dark side of human nature which makes him very discerning as a lawyer the third quotation for Mr. Jaggers to bear in mind is when he does approach Joe Gargery and lets him know that Pip must leave his charge, must leave his apprenticeship and go to London in order to take his uh, inheritance and also begin his gentleman's training. He states, I'm the bearer of an offer to relieve you of this young fellow, ellipsis. And this is a declarative sentence. Bear in mind, a declarative sentence is a sentence that states a fact, feeling or mood. The fact here is uh, that Pip has an offer, which is a massive inheritance, to now leave Joe Gargery and go and become essentially a gentleman. The word level analysis you also want to do is the two pronouns I as well as you, okay? So here we can see that he is executing his duties as a lawyer in a very efficient way. So we can also see he's quite efficient and of course he's acting for Magwitch. Now the next quotation to bear in mind for his character is, this is describing how he treats all his clients as a lawyer, okay? We can see his kind of cold nature in the way he deals in business. Uh, the, the, the quotation, and especially the way Pip describes him is, he washed his clients off as if it were a surgeon or a dentist. So it's almost like he washes himself clean of all of these cases, almost in a very cold, calculated and surgical manner. And this is shown through this simile as if it were a surgeon or a dentist. This shows his coldness, his calculating manner. And of course, this also shows that sometimes he knows he's defending unsavory characters, negative characters, and he almost feels like he has to wash himself to clean himself away of the sins that he has successfully defended. 
So of course, this quotation is interesting in establishing his work as a lawyer, but also it establishes that sometimes Mr. Jaggers has defended people who don't have the best morality. The next quotation for his uh, character is when he states, take nothing on its looks, take everything on evidence. So here actually, this is interesting because he is illustrating to Pip that it's very incorrect and very naive to believe everything based on appearances and based on external appearances, especially when in high society where there's a lot of things bubbling and brewing beneath the surface, things are not as they seem. And it's also mistaken to believe that just because somebody looks upper class, just because they look like a good person or they look beautiful in Estella's case, that means that they're inherently good. So of course here we can see that he's very discerning and this is illustrated through the oxymoron, the opposite words of nothing and everything, okay? So we can see here, Mr. Jaggers has a very unique understanding of upper class society. He's trying to impart this understanding on Pip, but Pip learns this the hard way. The final quotation from Mr. Jagger's character is when he, of course, relate, re, uh, relates the decision back to um, Pip inheriting this massive inheritance, but also these instructions are very specific in terms of how Pip needs to be brought up as a gentleman. And he states when he's explaining this to Joe Gargery, he be, and this is of course relating to Pip, he be ellipsis brought up as a gentleman ellipsis a young fellow of great expectations now here what you want to focus on is the abstract noun gentleman this is what pip is going to become and also the assonance of e in fellow great and expectations so of course here he is simply showing what is going to happen to pip he pip is now going to access this upper class lifestyle but of course as a result of this access to the upper class lifestyle he realizes that things are not as they seem and actually people who are part of the upper class can be very inherently morally corrupt so that's it when it comes to key quotations relating to Mr. Jaggers and Great Expectations.